Pirates. Hey, I want to introduce you all to my new neighbor, Jimmy. Hello. Now, Jimmy lives in neighbor Bob's house. And there will be no one, I don't think, that can ever replace neighbor Bob. Many of you have been with our channel for years, and you've seen neighbor Bob out here with us. But if anyone can, it's going to be Jimmy. I've never seen anyone quite as ambitious as Jimmy. The inside of the house has been totally reworked in just, what, two months? Three, yeah, two, three months. Two, three yeah. months, something yeah. like that. And now he's already just ripping and tearing here on the outside. I just want to say that Jimmy the other day said something about renting some equipment to get out here and get these stumps out. <laughs> Until I met you. <laughs> How did I respond there? <laughs> no, 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 no. Definitely not. <laughs> I think you'd have been mad at me if you'd seen I think I think I here. said something about if he did that, I was going to flog him. <laughs> Uh-oh. No flogging the neighbors, Tim. Yeah, well, the, most, the most embarrassing thing is that I would have rented the wrong equipment <laughs> and trying to get it out. <laughs> and then you would have come over and show me how it's done. Oh. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite jobs after school was working at the Mooresville Park. Yeah. That's all I did, run Bobcat, build all the trails. And I loved it. This old guy helped me. He was like, I want to say he was like 75. He just loved working. He did it for free. Uh -huh. And just showed me how to run all this stuff. He has been moving the uh, entire stump. He was just digging around uh, the outsides of it to try to break up the roots. That's a pretty big um, stump there. Oh, he's got it moving. There we go. Now what he usually does is he plays with it for a few minutes to try to get all the dirt off of it. It's really heavy at this point. It didn't take too long. We may have been working at it, I don't know, five or ten minutes. Not very long at all. He'll probably play with it longer than that just to try to get the mud ball off. So this is where neighbor Bob used to live. Bob passed away last year and then Jimmy and his wife Kara bought it. And Bob was a unique guy. He liked to do a lot of things in his yard. He had built several places to store wood and his wheelbarrow and things like that. This is one of them. Jimmy's already torn down the walls of it, but I'm sure he wants the rest of this out. And then Bob never saw a piece of wood he didn't like, so he had a little um, place here where he stored wood and to keep it kind of out of the elements. And Jimmy's really been working on a lot of this to clean it up. And this is the back fence. When Bob was here, he took down most of it, but not quite all of it. And out there where Bob used to have his garden is the bushes that we're working on the big stumps for now. So Tim was able to get the root ball out of the hole. Do you know what kind of bush this was? I have no clue. I'll tell you, I started sawing that one. It smelled like cedar. Huh. I was like, there's no way that's cedar, but it smells like it. I was like... That fence is your way, you can move it. Jimmy got out earlier and sawed up these trees, but uh, they were overgrown and past their prime, I think. But wow, there he goes with another one. So I tell you what, we've got these things set up here, and you're wanting them on your burn pile, right? Yes. So how about if you take Johnny? And get them on your burn pile. All right, let's try. Have you, have you used a joystick like oh, this yeah. before? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's been a little while, but. Okay, so up and down uh -huh. is up and down, mm -hmm. and curl is in. In. Okay. And, and dump is out. Yeah. And then the clamps, you have to hold the button while okay. you curl this way or this way. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So okay. if the button's down, you're going to be you're going to be operating the clamps. If the button's not down, you're going to be operating the curl. Okay. If you think of this as dump, mm -hmm. think of it as opening to let go of something. Okay. Dump as let go. So when the button's down, that's let go. Ah, uh, I see. It opens it up, opens the yeah. mouth, and then okay, and then you're, dumps. You're, you're, gotcha. You're, so so curling is is taking it in, mm -hmm. clamping. I don't know. That's the only way I'm able to keep in mind. Must be too heavy. 
way out there. Oh, I grabbed the bug, didn't I? Yeah. I think Jimmy may need a bigger uh, tractor. He's got a little John Deere riding lawnmower around here. One thing I really like about Casey is how I can fit into such a tight space. I mean, I came through this small doorway. I was able to spin right around here. Got my back right up to the house here just to get to this stump. So it works really well on that. Really good for a tight space. I think I've got to get a new tractor though. Yeah, I think Jimmy's taking over that one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got it. To me, this thing looks like a scary face. Anybody else see that? I enjoy actually seeing him use it. got a big load. I think he likes it. I don't think I'm going to get it back. <laughs> He's going to try to drag this whole piece of the fence back. Oh my goodness. Wow. So much for the fence. I think I can come around and start grabbing. I need to get these out of the way. Yeah. Once he gets this out of the way, that can come and grab all this. Can you pull this up? I can. That'll that'll allow me to get in here and grab all that. We just have to be very careful with nails. This is fun. 
We're just tearing stuff up as fast as we can. Jimmy's junk pile. <laughs> I can't keep up with both of them going. It's hard to be the video person when one person's on Johnny and one person's on Casey. And they're off to the races. Jimmy's back for more wood, and Tim's just working with the same bush. Mm, Jimmy's decided that hand loading is the best option. I'm going to say that Tim's actually still just trying to get the dirt off. Once they get all this wood out of here, we could till it, and they could spread some grass seed. Be a nice yard. Jimmy's just gone out and piled the wood on the side of his fire pit. I'm sure he'll just throw it on there. I think he's going to tackle the rest of this roof. snapping. Uh, I think it's gonna come off. Maybe. Oh wow. Jimmy's excited about it. Well, there it went. Kind of in pieces now. There he goes. He can just pull that. Well, he's got part of the shingles with him. I think Tim was trying to help him. Now folks, before we even show you the next scene, I must give a little disclaimer. A lot of things that you see on Tractor Time with Tim, well, it's not necessarily the best way to do something. In this particular case, we could just leave this out because obviously I didn't handle this situation perfectly. But I really feel like there's a lot to be learned uh, by a situation like this. And so I feel like it's important that I leave it in. Yeah, we laugh about it, no one got hurt, but if the situation had been a little bit different, we could have hurt Casey or myself as far as that goes. We're going to leave this in the video, but I do want you to understand we are not suggesting that this is how to operate your equipment. So hopefully you can learn from us. I know I learned from my mistakes and I guess I was thinking maybe you could learn from my mistakes too. You won't have to make them yourself. Anyway, it is kind of funny, so enjoy. the hard way. Yeah. Maybe you don't want to fall a tree right toward on you. It? Yeah. I guess there's only one way to learn. Well, maybe there's two ways to learn. Then you get the chainsaw out and cut. I think maybe we better cut it to see if we can figure out where uh, The funny where we thing are. is it kind of split. It didn't hit Casey on the roof. <laughs> no, it just right, right on either them. side, yeah. <laughs> Probably get to let me clear this out. I'll cut there. I'll grab them. There you go. <laughs> Whoa. 
Well, the reason he uh, wanted to pull it towards him was because of the neighbor brand new fence. Not Jimmy's fence, but the neighbor beside Jimmy. And we really didn't want to ruin a fence that was literally just put in last fall. So maybe he can get himself out of this mess now. Jimmy ran out of gas in his uh, chainsaw. goes Casey. I believe he's gonna get Casey out. If I cut this in a few seconds, I'll carry it over there. Uh, if I need to cut this one down, I'll get a room. It's up to you, man. Let's get these two out of the way first, I guess. <laughs> You'll have to cut them up to put them on his uh, fire I would, pit anyway. I would have never thought that we uh, got this far awesome <laughs> tonight. Yeah. So I, I got to ask you, what do you think of Johnny? For the size and power and as compact as it is, best truck I've ever been on. Really? By far. Oh, yeah. By yeah. Far. It is amazing. It is. It didn't take you long to get onto it. No. Oh, no. It's uh, very user friendly for sure. Okay. Well, have at her. All right. I think you're gonna have to just uh, give him the key. Yeah, I'm afraid so. My phone's breaking. So it is fun to watch somebody else use your tractor as it is to use it yourself? Well, almost as fun. I mean, it's a lot of fun for me to watch somebody else use it for sure. Jimmy's clearly drove some equipment before. One thing I don't notice that I haven't coached him on at all is to carry his load low, and he just instinctively does that. Yeah. So he knows to lower that back down. your plan for this area? Just grass or? I really don't know. I mean, I, I knew I didn't want these, but yeah. now that it's open, it's like, hmm, what am I going to do with it? Yeah. I get, yeah, probably just grass and leave it open. Um, get all these out and till it up and, and reseed it, I guess. Yeah. Baiting whether I'll need some topsoil or some topsoil to put on top here or not. That down spout there, I'd like to put it underground, put it out where it kind of naturally runs. Well, I think we know. Tim just said he's going to pull the whole fence over, but he's still working at it. Now I'm not sure what Tim's trying to do. Probably just steady the fence, maybe. Uh-oh! and their toys. And I didn't even think we were going to need Johnny tonight, Kristen. It wasn't obvious. 
What are you going to do with the wood? Pull out the shingles and then just throw it yeah, on your burn pile? Yeah, the wood and the shingles I'll throw on the trailer and take it to the dump at some point. Yeah. I'm sure it won't be my last load to the dump. Perfect. Yeah. Watch, it'll start growing again back here. <laughs> I know. I need to start burning it. It'll take a while to burn all this. Man, I can't believe how much it opened that up. Wow. I think we've torn up a lot of stuff here, Jimmy. Yeah. Who's going to clean this mess up? I got to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good time to quit for the night. Yeah, we've had a good time. And actually, I was really impressed with how you operated Johnny. Oh, thank you. Maybe thank you. maybe we have a, a new tractor time with Tim. There you go. Uh, employee. I found it hard to, to keep video both of you at the same time, though. Well, you know, we have this model here we've been thinking about on Tractor Time with Tim. Maybe we could get people to pay us to allow them to drive Johnny to help us with our projects. You think that would work? I think the night's over. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was shaking his head yes there for a while. Okay, we've got a little bit more stuff to get done before dark. But that's all for you guys, and we'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. <laughs>